Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Market Insights here on Calkine TV. I'm Sage and today we'll be shining some light on why the CDC and European Council imposed travel restrictions on Australians. Australia had reopened its international borders in November of 2021 and had expected tourism revivals in 2022. However, the cards seem to be playing the other way around as the COVID-19 third wave is steaming high in the country. The international committees are dropping negative remarks for visiting Australia for the international tourists. CDC has warned travel to 22 countries, including Australia. And recently, the US Centre for Disease Control and Prevention released a list of 22 countries to be avoided, a trip to due to the rising number of COVID-19 cases in the respective nations. The list includes these countries, Australia, Egypt, Argentina. And additionally, the CDC has strictly advised Americans not to travel internationally unless fully vaccinated. The committee is promoting eligible Americans to get a booster shot. CDC remarks came as a shock to the Australian tourism industry, hoping to kickstart its recovery in 2022. After CDC's remark, the European Council removed Australia from its travel white list. European Council removed Australia from its travel white list. Let's find out more. Removal of Australia from the European Council's travel white list means the European Council no longer recommends Australia as a country from which the travel ban should be lifted. Along with Australia, the Council removed Argentina and Canada. The decision is directly related to the rising COVID-19 cases in Australia. However, the removal of Australia from the whitelist travel won't cause any trouble to Aussies travelling to Europe. And additionally, on January 9th, Germany listed Australia as a high-risk country. However, quarantine-free travel of fully vaccinated Aussies is still allowed. January COVID-19 analysis. The year started with rising COVID-19 cases in Australia. COVID cases reached their peak by the end of the second week of the month with around 140,000 cases on January 13th. And after that, there has been a decline in daily cases. The seven-day average of daily cases is around 50,000 cases per day. And hopefully with better testing, social distancing restrictions and vaccination, Australia will soon recover from the terrible effects of the third wave. In conclusion, 2022 is undoubtedly crucial for the recovery of Australia's travel and tourism sector and thus the central government didn't put any travel restrictions even as cases were skyrocketing. However, Omicron is not the last variant of the coronavirus as indicated by the WHO chief in the recent meeting. Thus, Australia needs to prepare for the future variants to avoid losing its international image in the tourism industry. Thanks for joining us on today's report and hopefully you found it informative. Please keep watching for more live expert talks and market updates. This is Sage signing off for now.